Okay, we're gonna practice one more time exactly how to read a graduated cylinder. So I'm gonna take my liquid and let's say I want a certain amount or I wanna find a certain amount. So I pour it on into my graduated cylinder, okay? And I wanna make sure that my graduated cylinder is on a flat surface, okay? If it is kind of like this, it's not good. So we wanna make sure that it's on a flat surface. And then in order to read it, I need to make sure that I get at eye level, okay? So I can't be standing up tall, I can't be below it, I wanna be right at eye level with that liquid. So I'm gonna bring it closer to you. Okay. So once I get to eye level, I am going to read, remember, reading at the bottom of the meniscus or that curve. So if we look, we have those markings again like last time, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then we have 30. So if I look 30, then 31. It seems to be that you can see that curve, it looks to be right in the middle between 30 and 31. So we would probably call that 30.5 milliliters. So there is your answer for